Howdy, my name's Phil and welcome back to Almost Machining. In today's video, we're gonna talk about part two of the one horsepower rewind. We're gonna finish that up and I'll show you it running. We'll also show you some trials and tribulations along the way. I hope you enjoy. If you like it, subscribe and hit that like button. Initial preliminary test run. I've got the frequency at zero. Feels like there might be something wrong. Got a lot of vibration. Did I run this thing correctly? It's possible I may have missed, uh, I may be off on my winding, but the damn thing is running. Let's keep it at these lower and see if we can do a, a reverse. It does reverse. And it does run. I'll strap it down, see what happens. All right, I've got the motor strap down now. Let's take it up to 60 hertz. It's on a pretty slow start. Yeah, I, I have a problem. Something's not right. You're getting a lot of heat. Okay. First shot is not... Uh, not a good one, but close. All right, let's try this again. So we started off with a base. Uh, this became this. And this one, mm, I scrapped that. That was a good, good idea. And then this one right here, which was much closer. And then after we went through and tried to run it and we had those problems with the vibration, I went ahead and remapped the wires back out and I noticed, it's kind of difficult to see, I noticed that I had my number 8 and 11 were flopped. So I flipped those two back around, put everything back together. Let me go turn this, uh, or plug it in, got the amp meter, the VFD, the VFD is set to zero on the frequency. And we'll see what, uh, what comes of this. All right, there's no time like the go time. Okay, we're at 0.39 amps at 5 hertz. We're at um, at 14 hertz. We're at 0.59 amps on one leg. I'm gonna have to brace this motor a little bit better. At uh, 25 hertz, we're at 1. 1 amps. Okay, let's do this again. Let's drop this back down to zero. Run. Oh, you know what? I'm missing the magic spinning piece. Can't see that shaft on me. This is what everybody else does, right? Put some kind of tape around their motor. There we go. Okay. Run. That's 30 hertz. That's uh, 1.7 amps. Okay, I'm going to gonna stay out of the way as best I can. What I have is um, I've created a copper needle that's holding onto the string, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap this other side really quick, and then we're going to varnish this. So the way I start with this is bend it through. Okay. 
The varnish that we're going to be using is MG Chemicals Red Insulation Varnish. Uh, this is good up to and a little bit beyond Class A insulation, which is 220 degrees I think Fahrenheit. And this is what this class of motor is. It's not a it, it is technically not a variable speed duty uh, motor. Uh, if it was, the insulation around each one of the wires would be much thicker. It's a special wire, it's a lot more expensive, but it does take, it can take a, a rewind like this, can take a, a motor like this and definitely put it at a much higher classification. So I'm gonna get this mixed up, get the paint job, or get the paintbrush, and start coating all of these pieces inside of there. All right, that's had some time to soak in. You can see where it's all been coated down inside of the where the winding areas are, back over to the back side of those as well. Now we'll flip it over. There's a piece missing right there. Hang on. So big and good. You inside. The other side. All right, so I've put the motor back together. I have four, five, and six tied together, one and seven, two and eight, and three and nine. I have my VFD connected, set at 60 hertz with a soft start. I have an amp meter here. Maybe I may just have to call out the numbers. Let's start this up and listen how it runs. One point seven, one point eight, one point nine, dropping down. One point two eight amps, 
on that lead. 1.14 amps on that lead. And then 1.09 amps on that lead. After this one. 1.18. So this one seems to be drawing a little bit more. Let's put the RPM meter on here. Three thousand five hundred eighty-six RPM. Eighty-seven, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-six. Let's come over and check on the shaft. Drops down. It's not getting a good read right there. Thirty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven. We'll do a. Uh, Full reverse. Amps are coming up. 1.7 down. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 8, 6. Stop. Reversing. It's not even causing the outer shaft of the motor to spin. RPM in reverse. 3590, 91, 92. I'm very happy with the way that this rebuild has gone. 1.16, 1.15, and this one's like I said a little bit lower, 1.03 amps. I don't think I can check through a full, full phase now I can't but it's well within the specifications of the motor and it was tested at another facility uh, with the real the equipment to do that I will be delivering this tomorrow the day after Christmas I, I think um, I think it's great let's go ahead and stop it absolutely nothing wrong with this motor now I put um, Kluber bearing grease in. Tickled. Thanks for watching.